Gentlemen, welcome back to the T. Shanley starting a business, building a brand blog. This one, big number 108. So here's the deal. Um, I'm going to catch up to speed a bit on T. Shanley, and then I've got a question from the last blog that is awesome. And it's something that I've struggled with pretty much my entire entrepreneurial career. And then I want to tell you at the end of this, or in about the midway point, I want to tell you about a tough decision that I made. It was this week, actually, and, um, and it's crazy. I gave away one of my businesses, literally gave away a business that was making me over six figures a year. Think about that. I'll give you a hint. It's the fashion anchor. I, I am not part of the fashion anchor anymore, which I'll tell you that little story um, in a minute. But give you a little Tej Hanley update. We've been experimenting. We've been experimenting with different avenues and different sort of s different things just to see. And um, and we've done a few different things. One of them is a podcast. We I, or Josh connected us with, with a group of podcasters and I don't exactly know all the details but I listened to the reads and, or one of the reads and it was a great integration. I don't know how well it's going to do. We haven't rolled it out yet but it was, it was, it was, it was, it was good. I was actually surprised. Now the read comes in at like minute 45 and so that's a really long time for somebody to pay attention or to listen and you know, I guess it's, it's one of those things where we'll see. It wasn't super expensive, but we've got to test. We've got to try. We've got to experiment. We've done the whole, you know, YouTube influencer video promotion thing. We, we've, we're doing the AdWords. We're doing, you know, different, you know, Facebook stuff, but, but it's, it's reaching outside and, and pushing our limits and testing different things to see what really is effective and what really works. And when we find something, we'll try it again and do it again and do it again. And that's kind of what we're doing at the moment. And it's, it's, it's exciting. And it's, it's very liberating for me because it's stuff that I'm not having to promote. And so that's super cool. Also, yesterday, a video was released on my YouTube channel, something. And I'm, I'm sort of giving you a little bit of behind the scenes. Remember a few weeks ago, I talked about um, how, how we are trying to do more in terms of SEO and we needed some more content that was skincare specific and not as much like jumping around and, and sort of sliding Tej Hanley into these like random topics, but doing more skincare specific topics. And so what I did was a, a video about skincare, an AM and a nighttime morning routine for a clear complexion or something like that. And, and we released it yesterday. And now what we're going to do is we're going to spend a little bit of money to boost that, that video on YouTube. We're not going to do pre-roll because pre-roll gets sort of cheap clicks, right? Like cheap views. Like you get a lot of views, but the problem with pre-roll in terms of like the ad that you see at the beginning of a YouTube video is that you can't click on it. Um, at least the, the pre-roll that, that we would be running, you can't click on it. And so what we decided to do out to the right we're going to be using that video as an ad and we're going to test it. We're going to spend a little bit of money and see how it converts. If it converts well, we'll probably spend a little bit more money and keep doing it. If it converts crappy, no big deal. And so I will report back next time as to how we're, how we're doing because today is actually the day that we started spending a little bit of money and using it as the ad. All very exciting and the way that I, <laughs> I think about it is, is we've got a bunch of crap in our hands, right? And we're throwing it against the wall. Some of the crap will stick, some of it won't, but at the end of the day, the stuff that sticks, bang. <laughs> That's probably a nasty analogy. But now I would like to actually read a question from the last blog that is very business related. Um, it's from Bob Zools. He said, Alpha's question, how should I go about paying myself for the business I own? I'm the only one working and I was confused on whether or not I should pay myself a percentage of sales for the month or go on the dollar amount. For example, 30% of profit go to me while the rest goes to grow the business. What's your, what are your thoughts? This is such an incredible question and something that I have struggled with pretty much my whole entrepreneurial career. But this is a really tricky question and something that I think most entrepreneurs, 
you know, struggle with is how much do you pay yourself? When do you start taking a, a salary? And what does that actually look like? And so for me, two years ago is, is when, when I started. I started taking a salary. I hired a payroll company. The payroll company took taxes. And it was something that I felt comfortable with in terms of the dollar amount. It wasn't like a lot of money. It was, I think at the time, it was like, like maybe like $5,000. It was like $5,000 a month. I'm paying myself. It's going into getting deposited into my checking account. They're taking taxes. They're doing this. And it was, it was so scary. But at the same time, when it started happening, it was incredible. The other cool thing about it is that you're paying some taxes, right? And, and depending on you and your tax bracket, you know, it's not quite as much at the end of the year as opposed to just stroking a check for the entire amount of taxes that you owe. And so it was cool. I started with a little bit, but then the next year I was like, okay, I'm going to increase my salary. And so I, I took, you know, like, 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 like $5,000 more. And so then I was taking a salary of like $10,000 and they're still taking out taxes and doing all that. Now my businesses make more than $10,000 a month. There's, there's money in the bank, but it was one of those things where I needed to do it for a few different reasons. For one, for tax reasons, like I talked about. And the other reason was just, you're supposed to take a salary. When you're a business owner, I think you, you almost get into this mindset of, of the hustle and the struggle and, and, and this, 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 you're sacrificing above all else. And that is true. But there comes a point once you sort of get your business, you know, in on its feet and, and sure footed and, and it's making revenue and it's consistent revenue. It's okay. It's okay to reward yourself. You're supposed to reward yourself for the hard work and all of the years or months or whatever it was where you didn't take anything. And for me, I, I've always been sort of, I've, I've had a bunch of business, a bunch of financial struggles. And so it was always scary for me because I didn't want to sacrifice the business and the business's success for me. Like, I'm like, no, I'll just leave it there. I'll leave it there. Well, the reality is that it's okay. In terms of how much to take, in terms of what percentage, it's really all over the board and up to you. Whatever you comfortably feel you can take and the business can afford to pay you. Now, at the end of the year, after expenses, I would recommend you know taking some more money if you can afford that, but leaving some money in the business to help grow the business. You don't want to be in a position with any business that you are that you're that you you take all the profits out and then there's nothing left in the account and 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 you're like oh crap how am I going to pay my bills you've got to put money back in and so take what you can take what you need but just be be responsible and and don't overdo it don't <laughs> think that the the great months are going to be representative of every month after that be conservative, but if you're a business owner, I'm assuming that you probably are, and so you're gonna be in good shape. Great question. I think something that I think most entrepreneurs struggle with is, is that, that taking of a salary and, and taking money. It's, 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 it's a hard thing, I know. And, and you think like it wouldn't be? You think that, oh, there's money, I, I will wanna, like, it's weird, I don't know. It's the mindset of an entrepreneur, it is, it is complex. Something else that was complex that I'd like to talk about now is this business. A few months ago, I talked about starting or, or not starting, but acquiring a new business. And it was this business, The Fashion Anchor. I've had a relationship with the, the owner in terms of a, a friendship with the owner who founded this, John. I talked about that in another business. Long story short, he got a partner. They came together. They needed some help. I came on and, and I took equity in this business, the majority ownership in this business. And I started promoting it. I started doing all of the customer service. I had my team fulfilling everything and it was, it was good. It wasn't great. It wasn't like I remember it to be back when I used to promote this three years ago. It was in my head. It was, it was more popular, but we did it and we were selling it and we were selling it on Amazon. We were selling it through Facebook ads and Instagram ads. And I did a few YouTube videos. I had some of my friends who were influencers do videos and it did okay. It wasn't a meteoric like takeoff like a lot of the other things that I've done. And so I, I was doing it. I wasn't passionate about it. It was feeling more, it came to feel more like an obligation 
than something that I was excited about doing. And so for the past two or three months now, I've been thinking, I'm like, okay, what do I do? What do I do with this? Because, because at the end of the day, it's making me a little bit of money. Not a little bit, it was making me good money. It was making my partner, Brian, money. John, by this point, has, has gotten out of the business, who was the original owner, and that was another issue with me. He sold the remaining equity that he had to our other partner, Brian, and so it was me and Brian. And, and Brian, somebody that, that I didn't know, I've come to very, very much respect and like, and he's a smart guy, but he and I have different, different, um, different business sort of minds. He, um, he is very much of the mindset of, of spend money, all about you know, customer acquisition, and I am from a different mindset. I'm from the mindset of, yes, advertise, yes, promote, but maximize profits. And it, it, the, the, the way that you go about those businesses are different. And it's one of the things that we've talked about with Tiege Hanley. Are we in a fast growth business? Or are we in a lifestyle business? And for me, the fashion anchor was more of like a lifestyle business where it's like, yeah, we'll do well, we'll sell it, we'll continue to sell it. And it'll be a nice sort of, you know, it'll be a nice income stream that's you know fairly passive i'm not having to do a ton i wasn't promoting it as hard as i was pete and pager or the fashion anchor but brian was in the fast growth customer acquisition more of like a tech startup type of thing and so brian and i didn't agree and i knew that if brian had the business by himself he would run it very differently i i felt like i was interfering with him growing the business and i also felt more more than that I was upset that, that my friend John wasn't in the business anymore. I was still doing stuff with John in terms of he was helping me with the Pete and Pedro website, Alpha M. Like he and I are friends. And so now I've got this friend where I'm, you know, I've got his product that he started that I'm making money on. He's not even benefiting from this anymore. And part of the reason I was excited about getting started with this and being in business for this was was because he was my friend and I was excited to help him grow a business but then he wasn't in it anymore so it was almost like it was like I was I, it was like I was like like sleeping with his ex-girlfriend that's that's what I tell people I'm like it just didn't feel right it felt just not right and at the end of the day I needed to be honest with myself even though this was making money even though each month I was getting a check and everything was cool and and all that and people were digging the product and it was growing at the end of the day, I needed to be honest with myself. And I think that's really the takeaway for this vid video. There are some times where you've got to make difficult decisions. And at the end of the day, I was not passionate about this. And I've got other businesses, other things that I am incredibly passionate about, like Tee Shanley, Pete and Pedro, my YouTube channel, my advertising agency. I've got a lot of other stuff going on that needs my attention, that needs my focus, that needs my passion. This was just a it was it was taking attention but i wasn't passionate and so it was not a difficult decision and so i gave this business to brian this past week i i called him and i said brian i i think i want to give you the fashion anchor back like all of it like here it's yours and um and so we did that literally within the span of a week I have absolutely nothing to do with the fashion anchor anymore. Um, it's his. And I'm excited for him. I'm excited to see what he does with it. He has another business called Oats Overnight that's incredibly successful. He's actually trying to raise money for that to continue his growth there. And I know he's going to do well. I know that, um, I know that he's going to do probably better than with me being involved, not being fully committed. And I think the takeaway, like I said, is don't do anything half-ass. Regardless of if you're making a little bit of money or even a lot of money, if you don't love something, if you're not passionate about doing something and it takes emotional bandwidth and it takes attention away from things that you should really be focusing on and then you get excited about doing. Like I get excited about filming this vlog. I get excited about Pete and Pedro and everything, filming YouTube videos. That's what gets me up in the morning. This didn't. I thought it would and, and at the end of the day I'm really glad I tried it. I did this for like six months or seven months or whatever it was and I would have regretted not trying it 
always in the back of my head thinking, hmm, I wonder what could have been. I wonder if I could have done X, Y, and Z because I really love this product. And, and the way that I sort of live my life these days is, is I don't want to regret anything. And so if I didn't try this, I would have regretted it. I tried it and it's not for me. And so I gave it back. And I feel like a million bucks. <laughs> I feel like the weight has been lifted off of my show. I feel like I got more free time back. I feel like I just feel good. I feel good because I got an obligation and something that I, I almost dreaded. And I, 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 I dreaded. I dreaded getting calls from Biden like, hey, when are you going to do a YouTube video? It's like, leave me alone. <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> he's a great guy the product is incredible I think that John and he now that I'm out of the picture might actually be able to come together and and make this make this sort of their baby again and so I'm excited for them I know that this this product definitely has 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 a future um, but I'm not going to be part of that future and that's okay so anyway, guys, I think I'm going to wrap it up there. Um, hopefully you dug this video. Next week, I've got a lot more Tiege Hanley specific updates. We've got a lot of stuff. We had some other incredible questions in this vlog or from last vlog that I'm going to address. But when I, when I read through them prior to filming this, I wasn't prepared to answer them because I need to get more data from the team. And I will get that data. I will report back. But we've got some really great, exciting things happening. And quite frankly, it's because of you and, um, and you're incredible. So guys, if you have any additional business related questions down in the comments, let us know. T. Shanley specific questions, let us know. YouTube questions, let us know. Any personal questions for me, it's yours. Blank, plant, cabat. Blank canvas at down below. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next week for incredible updates and incredible T. Shanley stuff. T. Shanley stuff. <laughs> lots and lots of T. Shanley stuff.